Casper, uh, Hi, first Raphael. off, thank you. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk about um, this uh, this surprise that people are going to get to watch. Uh, and I, 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 I was blown away when I saw it. So congratulations. Hopefully, people are going to love it as much as I did. Oh, great. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you liked it. Um, I mean, I got I, I to gotta give props to your PR people because they, they surely knew, know who to pick for doing this type of stuff. And, and when they reached out to me, I was like, this is my kind of stuff. Come on. I'm not going to say no to this. So, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I was completely, uh, there's so many twists and turns, especially in the last act, people are not going to, I didn't see them coming. People are not going to see it coming. So, I mean, congratulations on that. I absolutely love what, I, what you did, honestly. Um, we got to start with when, what was your initial reaction? Take into consideration this is going to show in adult, this is going to be two different versions. One is going to be shown in Adult Swing and the other one's going to be, be shown in HBO Max. What was your initial reaction when they told you, hey, we're going ahead with this? Because my thinking is like The Office, this is happening. Uh, what's the procedure? Take off. What, what, what happened in your, in, your, in your head when they told you that we're going ahead with this? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, because it was such a weird idea that um, uh, when I pitched it, um, yes, it was a delight and a shock that they let me do it. But at the same time, it's Adult Swim, and they're known for doing a lot of crazy stuff. So, uh, so, uh, and I felt like there, that the just the first hook of a uh, of you see a Yule log, a tight shot, and then you hear off screen a door opening i'm interested like a story what's going to happen so i feel like that was a pretty good hook it hooks you I, I mean the whole conversation hooks you the whole the whole first act hooks you because you're you get into this situation that okay what's going on here what so what is going to happen next that's where where, where where it hooks you with the with the story so i i think the second question has to be again technical situation is going to be shown in two different formats how much did the did, did discovery uh push you to did, did, did they set some limits? Did Warner Discovery set some limits? Or did, or did they or they were just, you know what, do what whatever you need needs to be done? Um I think that uh Adult Swim was very supportive and I mean they read the script and looked at the cuts, but there was nothing that they were they you know gave me suggestions, but really they they did let me go for they wanted me to go for it and and try to go go as crazy as I could. So they were very supportive of that. And the two versions are pretty similar. Like the really the the one that it's going to air after Rick and Morty has commercial breaks and there's some words that are bleeped and a little bit of blurring of some very brief nudity. But other than that, they're they're very similar. But if the uncensored version will be on HBO Max the next day. You just jump into my other question because I wanted to know what was the difference between what people were going to see in Adult Swim and I think the one what I, the one that I saw was the one that's going to be on HBO Max because there was a lot of gore, a lot of uh, craziness <laughs> going on. So and I was that the one that's the one that I was most looking forward to seeing. So it's basically little things, nothing really different between one and the other one. Correct, correct. I think all the gore is the same. So yes, uh, uh, yeah. That should be fun. That should be fun. Uh, I, I, you mentioned Rick and Morty. I, I, and I wanted to I wanted to think, I wanted to ask you, what, what does it mean to you that your your project is basically following them, such an iconic series, and basically they're the prelude to the Ulog. So what was, you know, what, 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 what does that mean to you? It's a, it's a big thrill and an honor. I mean, I'm a super fan of Rick and Morty and, uh, and Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon, and it's exciting. And I, I, uh, I know it's a shift from sort of a comedy, animated comedy to a live action horror. So that may not be for everybody, but I, hopefully a lot of people will uh, stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Yeah, they're going to be in for a surprise. That's the, that's the thing that I, that I have to say the most. Um, I love the meta commentary. I love I a bunch of stuff that I loved about the, this, this story specifically. Um, and, I, and I wonder when you wrote the script and you got, you got the cast together, and you don't want to ruin the surprise, obviously. You don't want, I mean, people, see, uh, filmmakers don't want to ruin the surprise. Did they, did you give them the whole script or did you get them some type of the, some size of the script? How did, did you manage the casting with the story to make sure that everybody gets into the situation and, and the stuff that happens between different acts? Oh, that's a great question. I think, I think we gave everybody the whole script 
And I think we're lucky in that this isn't like a franchise movie. This isn't like uh, Thor 4. So, or, so there's less temptation to talk. And people were on board with it. The, they love the idea of the surprise too. So there was less temptation to tell people about this movie about a log because they'd just be like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't, you know, so it's different than if it was like a franchise movie, you know. <laughs> I, I just think that the curiosity behind the story just, it's like, it's, it's weird, but you're going to love it. It's just, it's something different. That's that, that's the way that I see it. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 I want to ask about your inspirations because I saw a lot of different inspirations in, in, the, in the story and in the, the whole production design of it. Who... Who basically do you use for inspiration when you're telling a story like this? Who are you? I see a lot of uh, Evil Dead, and I saw a lot of old this old school and you know horror, which is the, the best of the best. Who do you use for inspiration when you're building something like this? Yeah, I definitely Evil Dead uh, inspiration and uh, David Lynch definitely, and uh, and a, a little bit of uh, you know. Halloween, Friday the 13th, yeah. but then yeah. sort of the more modern neon horror and, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit of Mandy in there, you know, um, and, but I think that a lot of it is when you're writing it, I'm not thinking about movies. It's just that I've seen so many movies that it's kind of filtered into my unconscious and, and it's exactly. like, it's like minerals in the soil. So when this <laughs> idea sprouts out, the minerals are there, but you don't always know where it came from, you know. Um, I, I have two more questions before I leave, and and, and this one is I I I'm, I don't know how to uh, praise it because I don't want to spoil the surprise. But it, there's one specific scene that ha scene that happens in the third act that I don't think people are gonna see coming. And there's this scene that comes from far far away. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. That they, was that in the script originally, or or was that something that you thought, hey, what if we add this other layer to the story and we bring in this thing that came without me but i don't want oh, to go into it yeah you, you know yes. where, where i'm going right that, was, that, that was in the script and I, well it was like i remember getting there and i was like should i add this and i'm like why not let's go for it you know yeah let's go for it so yes that's my thinking i was like <laughs> i i imagined you writing that or shooting it i was like okay this is so out of left part but it adds another layer to the story i mean, I mean that's the way i see it at least and to me it was like such a good, amazing surprise because we see what's going on and then, okay, oh, oh, wait, this is, this, okay, we just, she, wait, she, she just got real with, with this thing. And then the whole, but everything that happens is just, it adds more to the story. To, to me, I didn't see that coming and I was, I have to ask because I'm not sure if that was part of the story originally or did you say it like, maybe let's add this to add a little more spice to it. But it was gold. I, I mean, for me, it was pure gold. Well, I'm glad it surprised you because I do talk about, they talk about things like that earlier in the movie, but I was hoping but, people but, would forget. Yeah. But you you don't see it coming. You, you're yeah. so caught up on, on what's going on with the characters and there's so many scenes going on with the characters that really you're like, okay, it's going this way. It's going that way. What's going to happen to him and that one. So I, I think I'm running out of time. So one final question, one final pitch, people that are resistant to, to, or, or did, or maybe that watch the, the adult scene uh, version. Why, why should they go see the HBO one, one which is the one that I suggest they go see because to me, it should be more fun. Why, why, why would you tell them that they should go watch the, the one in HBO? I think, uh, you know, it's a horror movie and when horrible things are happening, you're bound to drop a lot of F-bombs. So if you want to hear the dialogue as it's intended, uh, you should also watch it on HBO Max. Yeah. Oh, That's and one last thing is uh, uh, the, the ending song and the ending credits is on Spotify. Oh, and one other thing, if people don't have HBO Max, it, you, they can also buy it digitally if they well, prefer. Good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Casper, again, congratulations. I absolutely love what I what I, what I saw. Uh, the, right, really right down my alley, right down to the stuff that I that I love to watch. So congratulations and, and uh, once again. I want to thank you. Uh, uh it can I can tell you really thoroughly saw it and thought about it, and your questions were great. Thank you.